Yoshi's Fantasy Football Corner. I'm your host, Yoshi De La Cruz. I'm glad to be back this week. I was on my bye last week, and because most of you probably had horrible fantasy football weeks, it's good to know that I've nurtured a bit of dependency. Due to great demand, we're going to play a game of buying or selling with Yoshi, where I describe certain reasons for liking or disliking players for the rest of the season. Take the baseline out. It looks like Philip Rivers remembered who butters his bread as he connects with Antonio Gates for two touchdowns in an impressive game on Monday night. And going forward, I think that Philip Rivers is going to focus in on Gates as a vital part of the offense. It looks like Wes Welker has bounced back from the slow start to the beginning of the season and is once again the white, handsome, human being version of Speedy Gonzalez. With Beanie Wells on the injury list, there was a bit of a mix-up as to who might be the running back for the Arizona Cardinals, but we got our answer this week as William Powell made a very strong start and put up great stats. He is the man going forward until Wells comes back. My new nickname for Aaron Rodgers is Captain Insano because that's the kind of nickname you get when you throw six touchdowns in a game. He's back, folks, and when he gets a healthy Greg Jennings back some point later in the season, fingers crossed, he's going to be absolutely lights out. I have no more concerns about Rodgers. I'm a bit of a buy low on Tony Romo. He comes back from his miserable five interception game and has uh, a nice one here this last week with uh, Baltimore, and he's... He's starting to heat up with Des Bryant. I think Tony Romo is bouncing back a little bit, and I think he's a great buy-low option. I think Andre Roberts is a perfect sell, mediumly high situation. Um, if Cobb can't return back from his rib injury for a few weeks, I don't think he has the same chemistry with John Skeleton. So um, take those fantasy numbers that he provided in the first few weeks and turn that over for something a little bit more consistent. I'm buying into Sean Green about as much as I'm buying a flaming bag of dog shit. Um, just because it was burning hot for one week doesn't mean it's going to smell up your entire place for the rest of your life. Um, going forward, Sean Green has some miserable matchups, and let's not forget that he sucks as a running back. It's hard to sell somebody when they're not doing great, but I'm still a sell on Darren McFadden. He hasn't been doing well, and let's not forget that he has an incredible injury history, and so that scares me going forward. Um, he hasn't produced the numbers when healthy, and I think it's only a matter of time until he misses some weeks this season. I'm a sell on Darren McFadden. I think I'm a bit of a sell high on tight end Kyle Rudolph, if you can get top dollar for him. I think his fantasy dominance really depends upon touchdowns, and he's just not going to get touchdowns every week. I think it's a matter of time before he slows down and churns out some kind of lukewarm to disappointing weeks. If you can get a top five tight end for Kyle Rudolph, I would go for it. I'm going to read a letter from one of the fans who wrote into the show. Um, it's from Lee Sinclair. Lee writes, Dear Yoshi, a few weeks ago you told me if I teleported into the future you, that I'd be thanking you for advising me to pick up Dami Amendola. However, I am having trouble doing so in the following weeks. Please advise. Um, Lee, it's hard to predict injuries. Danny Amendola is dealing with that right now. If you find yourself in a situation where you think you're going to make the playoffs, Without him, I'd hang on to him because I think that he will be back and usable in the uh, fantasy football playoffs. If you are struggling, though, you're going to have to find a way to replace him um, in your wide receiver core um, in the following weeks. But, you know, again, it's hard to predict injuries, and I'm sorry you're dealing with that right now. Thank you very much, Lee, for writing into the show, and I encourage everybody to direct their questions to me via email at yoshithesexymofo at gmail.com or finding me on the facebook.com at the fan page Yoshi's Fantasy Football Corner. That's all the time we have for this week, but this has been your host, Yoshi De La Cruz, reminding you that there are other things in life than fantasy football. Um, I, I just can't really think of them.